padlock through that, but we need a plate. Now I've got this aluminium sheet here, it's quite a nice thickness. So I thought I would cut a piece for that and then drill a slot. Now, I work with wood, don't really work with metal, but I kind of need to do this. And I just looked online and it turns out that even with a standard high speed steel router cutter for wood, if you take it gently, you can actually mill out on the aluminium, which I think is fantastic. So that's what I'm going to do. So it's a bit of an experiment, but I think I'm going to be able to get this to work. Marvellous. <laughs> Got to cut this first. Ha! And sore, I think. Okay, so this is what I've set up. We've got our strip of aluminium in here, and I've set stops at either end, goes through between these guides, and I've securely fixed the router solid there, so all it can do is plunge, and then we'll move the metal. And the whole thing is screwed right down onto the bench, so it's going nowhere. So I don't want any movement in this. Right, let's see if it works. I think that is the first time I've ever done anything like that. That is absolutely fantastic. This is what I love. You, you think, right, can I do that? You go on the internet, on YouTube, see a video or two, come back, and you can do it. Marvellous, that's going to work so well. Look at that, so neat. That's so cool. <laughs> I learned something new. Fantastic. I'll do nicely. <laughs> <laughs>